Hi all, welcome to ClickShare.com. This video is the first part on joins in ClickView and this is a level 3 video. So let's get started. Looking at this image, I'm really, really confused into what this image means. Anyway, the reason why I have this image is it's more for the users who don't come from RDBMS background then you might feel the same way uh, looking at the joints. Especially ClickView is embraced by most of the users or developers who come from strong Excel background and very little RDBMS background. If you're already familiar with ANSI SQL joins, you might find easy to understand ClickView joins. So I will divide this topic into multiple videos and in future videos, you will see some practical examples and some diagrams explaining about each flavor of join. So let's get started. Let's jump through the presentation and understand the theoretical aspects. Okay, so before we get started, let's understand that uh, the term join is used interchangeably in ClickView. The first place where it is used is joining two or more tables before ClickView creates the associated data model or the logic or the logical tables. Sorry, that's a typo. It should be logical tables. And uh, this is this happens during the script execution. The second type of joins are the logical tables with the associative logic are also called joins. This happens after the script execution or just after the script execution completes. So we will be focusing on the first type of joins. Taking a step back from ClickView joins, if you come from database background, you might understand the use of joins. However, for those who don't come from database background, joins are not specific to ClickView. Joins are heart of any RDBMS system, which means you can write joins within the select statements, not just the load statements. However, you need to follow join syntax of relevant SQL flavor. I mean, you can write T-SQL joins or PLSQL joins and execute them through your ODBC driver. We will not discuss this kind of joins. However, we will be more interested on the ClickView joins. So we will be discussing more about, so we will be discussing more about native ClickView jo joins. Let's understand the uh, basic difference between click few joins and concatenation. Think of joins and concatenation as table operators. And to further simplify the difference between these two concepts, I would like you to think joins as horizontal table operators and concatenation as vertical table operators. According to ANSI SQL standard, click few joins can be compared with SQL standard joins. And ClickView concatenation can be compared with SQL Server Union clause. I hope this is clear right now. So let's look at the different kinds of joins and explore them in detail in future videos. So we have inner join, outer join, left join, and right join. I'll stop here as this is the logical point to restart our understanding about joins in the next video. I hope you have learned something new. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Also, I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day, where I ask ClickView questions on regular basis covering variety of topics. You can immediately get the results and gauge your knowledge and also learn something new. Thank you for watching this video. Take care and happy learning.